cute. Oh, Hi, guys. Happy belated Thank birthday, you. Blair. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You didn't see my gift. I um, did it. What you? I can imagine. But what you get? Mm. So I got a car. Tell her, Blair. <laughs> what kind of car you got? I got a Lamborghini. Oh, <gasps> the truck or the car? <laughs> the car? My new car is, I think Period. it's called a Urus. It's an SUV. Lamborghini. Oh, okay, okay. As you should. I mean, I yes. have not driven it though because I'm very scared of messing Why? Don't what? be scared. I love fast cars. I just got a new car too, except for my husband ain't buy one. I couldn't wait on the Lord to be of good courage. <laughs> you know, I had to vroom vroom. <laughs> what color you get? What color? White. Right. All my cars are white because of my okay. dad. My dad only gets white cars, so I only okay. get white cars. That's what we do. He wanted to give me a red one, but we would have been pulled over every two seconds. You're yeah, right. but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. you, you deserve it. Congratulations. Yeah. And happy birthday. But, yeah. hey, what's up? So, I have a question. What's popping? Uh -oh. we, we can pass on it if you don't want to answer it. Just let me know. Okay. We put up this great, vulnerable moment so on Instagram. Mm -hmm talking about what it's like to parent your child out of marriage, you know? Yeah. So some people were saying you're not a single parent. They don't consider I, you a single parent. Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> some people were saying, like, you're a single parent, not a single mother. Some were saying you're not a single... Like, I was very... They're like, you're a co-parent, not a single mother. I've never, never heard it. I've never heard it. People are... People are sometimes so ridiculous that they don't realize the ignorance that's coming out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't, I don't want to be a single parent. <laughs> I would like to have help um, Logan's dad every single day, but that's just not my reality. He doesn't even live here. So, and I don't owe anybody that explanation. You know what I mean? And I don't owe anybody to tell anybody what role he plays in Logan's life. You know what I mean? It's none of your business. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is, it's, it's me, myself, and I. And that's all I got in the end. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you have it. I mean, I have an amazing support team. You know, my mom is here every day with me. But what constitutes a single parent? Let's talk about that first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to, nobody wants to trust me, nobody wants a single parent badge of honor. <laughs> I mean, they Nobody were fighting for it. I was, I was very confused because, you know, you're sharing your heart in that moment. And I thought, oh, my God, this is beautiful. And I'm just like, and this must be your everyday life, which I don't think people think about. Just everybody have an opinion. You could say hello and they mm -hmm. say, well, you know, we say hi here, obviously. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really here to talk people into my life. I'm just not. I used to feel like I. But like when I was, you know, doing reality television, I felt like I owed it to people to give them an explanation. But I don't feel that way anymore. You know, I tell mm -hmm. people what I want them to know, what I'm comfortable sharing. And I keep my life yep. moving. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's so yep. good. Because that. one, one thing about it, I was literally like, I told Blair, I was like, I've never in my life heard anybody talk about the difference between a single parent and a single mom, because at the end of the day, you are still with that child in your house. By every yourself. day. <laughs> like, I was confused. Like, as a previous single mom, I was like, if somebody ever tried to debate me <laughs> on what that looks like, I would be like, I don't, you want to come over? <laughs> because come out. Debate your life. Please, <laughs> you, It's... But, Either way, it's the fact that the message in it all was so beautiful and you were being mm -hmm. so vulnerable and the fact that people took it and decided to talk about a single mom versus a single parent, I think regardless, is we are in the home by ourselves. We are a person yeah. who is single and it doesn't matter if you are in a relationship or not, even if you are dating. It's yeah. still, the fact of the matter is once you are no longer with your child's father, you feel a certain way. You feel like, dang, I messed up. I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't do well. You know what I mean? Like I failed yeah. it. And there's emotion that comes with that. It doesn't matter if you have help. Doesn't matter if you have a nanny. Doesn't matter if you, the dad is still because 
my child's father, my child's father was still involved, but I it still was like I'm a single mom. Yes, yeah, I grew up I grew up in a single um, parent household, and even though my mom did have long relationships and you know boyfriends, I still would consider her a single mom. She was still dating, but she did all the work herself. You know, so. Mm -hmm. To me, that is considered a single mom. There's no debate about it because she sacrificed so much for me and my siblings. She worked yeah. so much so that she could provide for us. So I don't see where you can debate if someone's a single mom or a single parent just because they have a good person that's helping them co-parents. Co-parent is not the same as single parent. Yeah. Well, I, same thing. My mom was a single mom as well, and she mm -hmm. actually did very well for herself. Like, Because people like to bring that like the money and mm -hmm. all like my mom actually did very well but she still was a single mom who had to take care yep. of us me I have another question because that seemed to you know hit some hearts but we won't keep it moving <laughs> you gotta get to the show yes. so the other thing was the girls trip we were talking about girls trip yeah. and okay. what's too long what's not so what is your perfect ideal like when will you go out with the girls? They don't want to go on any girls trip. I don't want to go on no girls trip. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not. I want to go on Make vacations. Up, but actually, <laughs> let's go. We can go on hey, one, go one night. Trip. I don't want to go on a trip with a bunch of girls. I don't want to go. I want to go. What if it was I grew like up on a girls trip. I'm straight. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> No, it doesn't matter. How much girls trip that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Sophie said, "I can spend with my friends." I can. We could all go together. Y'all want to plan one? I want to go on a couple trip. Let's go to the in with y'all. I want to go kick it with my boo. But okay, she, you got your boo. <laughs> Trying to find no, I said I can go on a couple's. No, we could go. We could go on a couple's trip when the Lord plants him in my life. But I don't want to go on an okay. all girls okay. trip because oh. once I'm finished teeter tottering with y'all, I want to go kick it with my boo. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, and that's that on that. Yeah, that I prefer a couple's trip. Okay. I love a couple's trip. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I and a lot of people said that too in the chat. They were like. Can my man be like in a hotel in a cut somewhere? Because <laughs> I like after I've done all the things, I wanna I wanna hang out with my man. So I agree. Mm -hmm. After the after the second day, I'm like, man, I miss I miss my hubs. But um, one of the other things for me that really blessed me and that really like meant a lot to me is we were able to see you like fully mm -hmm. in your peace in in all that you have like healed and you were very vulnerable about that. And so if anybody has not like watched the episode yet, mm -hmm. I think it would be really, really great to kind of just share how you got there. Like, how did you get to a place where you're like, I'm at peace, I'm okay with like sharing, but I'm also in a, in a space where no matter what, the, the size of like motherhood and the body and all of those things, like I'm, good like what would you say to those people now i miss most of the question oh god because of the phone <laughs> went out but what i think you said did you say what did you say what made me basically wait can you hear me now wait the phone locked up again can so you hear me one more time can you hear me yeah i can hear you okay, okay. what got you to this like comfortable space where you feel comfortable in your skin you say what's on your mind you know what is for the people you know what's there's just a piece about you mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to figure out where's this piece come from oh uh, you know i decided i would stop pretending about my life mm. <laughs> and pretending to be happy and pretending to have certain feelings when i know i didn't feel that way it was just so exhausting you know and i had nothing left for me and so mm -hmm. I just decided, you know, with the, the work I started to do on myself is to really, truly live in my truth and, and yeah. be at peace with it. I can't change it. You know what I mean? The only thing I can change is, is to get better, you know, mm -hmm. if I want to. If I, if I don't yeah. like the things about myself, I can change. But so far, so good, you know? 
And yeah. that's just where my peace comes from because I know I'm living in my truth every day when I wake I up. You know, I'm not putting on for anybody, you know. If mm -hmm. you like me, you like me. If you don't, I can't talk you into that. Yeah. Go get your deep prayer candle for my candle line and go yes. live in an hour <laughs> prayer. You know candle. what I'm saying? I can't <laughs> I can't help you with that. Because you know, really most of that is the reflection of how you feel about yourself. Yeah. And until you are comfortable with yourself, <gasps> you're you are always going to see, you know, the flaws in other people. Those are the first things you're gonna see. So I can't I'm just gonna pray for y'all because <laughs> it's uh, not worth it to me to make myself be something for your liking. I'm not gonna do that. It's too exhausting. Yeah, yeah. And it's too expensive. Isn't it expensive? It's your whole day. <laughs> you know, you're doing your hair for them, you're doing your face for them, you're dressing yep. for them, you you raising your kids for them. Like I'm tired. No, I can't. I love that. So that's a good I point. I think what stood out to me the most that episode was just how real you were and just in your healing journey and just how transparent you were. And that really spoke to me because I'm like, a lot of people aren't transparent about their walk, even with their body image or like the things that you've had to overcome being in the spotlight. Um, it was just really beautiful to hear that like you struggle with things and you've overcame those things. And now you get to like live in that peace and talk about it. So yeah, what you're doing is beautiful. Thank you. Well, hiding almost killed me, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I had to make the decision whether, you know, to live my best life or not live at all. Yeah. yeah. And so there you have it. It looks beautiful on you, girl. It looks mm -hmm. good. Yes. Oh, thank you. It you looks good. It may be because I always considered myself pretty um, honest and straightforward. But when you asked that question and told that girl not to go on the trip, I was like, <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> Because I'm, you know, I'm thinking that in my head, but I'm like, no, I gotta be encouraging and find, you know, like the words to make her feel mm -hmm. comfortable. It's like, no, answer just no, just don't. Yeah. don't. You're not ready. <laughs> You're not ready. And it's okay to say no. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's okay to admit that you're not, it's not time. You know, there's a time yeah. for all things. You know what I mean? So when it's time, you'll know it. But, yeah. you know, I really don't want to go on a girl's trip. I, re I was raised with both sisters and a mama. <laughs> I'm girl down. Don't What I do know. You ain't going on no girl's trip. Don't ask her. Right. Not no time soon. Y'all don't even got. This, I'm telling you, I was, I was just telling my team today. When I do get a man, just know I'm going to start acting funny right away. I don't have no time. <laughs> I'm busy. I don't want to go out to drinks with y'all because when he call, I'm leaving y'all. Like, I, I'm going to act real funny. Yes, Tamar is acting funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> someone told, someone in the comments said that you should write a book. They said your words are really encouraging, just so you know. Yeah, we need an oh, under construction you. book. Yes, we need a book. We need uh, a book. Well, there's a lot of under constructionism coming up soon, guys. <laughs> oh, I love Wait, that. While, yeah. while we're talking about that, though, can you give us, because I'm a candle girl, can you give us, like, what are the sets? What, are we getting warm? Are we getting fruity? What are we getting? Nothing. Right. You're not getting anything because there's no sense. There's because no these sense. are not these are not decorative candles. These are spiritual candles. These oh, are yeah, these are meditation, manifest manifestation candles. You know, to empower yourself, to pray over yourself. These are just tools I love to remind you to to pray over the things that God has already promised us. You know, I have money, I have mm. love, I have protection, I have deep prayer, Let's which is my favorite. Most candle. of the most of Instagram need deep prayer. I'm yes. Yes, do. Um, I have fasting. That's when you want to, you know, like that goes a lot of things. Like, you know, for me, the fasting one, <laughs> sorry, the came up. The fasting one became important to me because, you know, mm -hmm. I just wanted for to, for a while to put the cup down. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I just felt like I was just picking up my cup too much. Mm -hmm. And just to remind myself that, you know, I can do it and I'm I, I hold the keys, you know, to, to my future. Yeah. And to help me, um, I lit the candle, and every time I passed by the candle, it reminded me to, you know, I'm strong enough, I can do this, prayed over my intention, like and, you know, I even took the stone that's in it, I put it in my car, I put it in my purse, just to wow. keep the energy going, to remind myself that I can do all things through Christ. And what's the, what's the candle through. line so we can, like, put it in the comments? Oh, uh, it, it's Intentions by TB. Yes. Yes. I've that. been working on it for a year. I, yeah. I that that's a, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome.
My phone is blown up because I'm online and everybody's like, aren't you coming to the show? Like, don't you go on yes, like, go. I'm on the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I know you have yeah. a busy day or night. Well, I love you guys so much. And I actually love y'all podcast and what you guys are doing. It's so important for moms and for women. And anytime y'all want me back, please have me. Because yes. this is okay. like, I could be on here with y'all all day long. So thank you so much. That was short, wasn't it? That show was short. We need, we need some more. I know. It was too <laughs> short. It was too it short. Was we will welcome you back anytime. You yeah. let us know when you want to come back. And we just say. We just <laughs> season two. I, I, yeah, season two. Season two. I'm coming. Yay. Okay. Y'all <laughs> hold to it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, we, rest got hope. we already know. We... All right, moms. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you.